All right, so I got, a f I got two or three more videos left in regards to guard passing. The next one, I didn't spend enough time emphasizing it in the earlier videos when I talked about guard passing, which is how to uncross the ankles. I covered that, I, I mentioned I was gonna make a specific video just to, in regards to how to uncross ankles, and this is it. It's gonna be very frustrating. You're in someone's guard, and uh, usually stronger, less experienced guys resort on just keeping a nice tight close guard and how to deal with that. So I hope this will help you uncross ankles. Big John. I have three fundamental ways of crossing the ankles. So from a basic posture position, which I'm going to talk about in the next uh, video in regards to posture, is how to, now we're dealing with uncrossing the ankles. So from here, I want to keep the knee, the hips pinned to the mat with the palm of the hands on each side of the hip bone. I'm going to take one knee in the center of his body and then take a step back on a 45 degree angle. From here, it's just going to be popping the back out in regards to uncrossing the ankles. From here, I push the knee down and then now I decide to go either underneath the leg or over top of the leg, but the focus right now is him crossing the ankles and preventing him from crossing them again. So from here, in posture, palms of the hands at the hip bone, knee at the tailbone and at the center line, take a 45 degree step back and from here it's just going to be popping the ankles, pushing the knee down and then figuring out which way you want to go from here. So that's one way of doing this. Keep in mind, actually, before I move on to the second one, in regards to pinning the hips down, if I don't pin the hips down, keep your legs crossed. But if I don't pin the knee, if I just put a knee in the center, keep them crossed, and I just take a step back on 45, now he's riding up my leg, and there's no pressure at the ankles now. So when I do this, I have nothing. So there's the importance of keeping the hips pinned, the knee in the center, 45 step back, and then popping the ankles open. Now keeping, keeping that concept in mind, the second way now, and when, they're, when you're dealing with a guy with longer, leaner legs, you can't create that pressure, I will now resort to standing up. So by controlling his arms, I take that step up. Now he's carrying his body weight on his ankles. So from here, I bring a lean center again, I take a step back, and from here, now it's a little bit of a vibration, and all I do, is go back to a posture position that I'm talking that I'm going to talk about in the next video. Now his legs are apart, now they can go underneath or over, depending on what I want to do. <clears throat> so the secondary to uncrossed angles is I'm going to use the stand-up method. Step. Knee in the center, hands at the hips or center line, and then take a step back, either vibrate or pop, one of the two. And then I now just go back to a posture position. The third way is a bit more intermediate. Now I'm baiting my opponent into a submission. So if I've tried my first two ways, it's difficult to uncross the ankles. At this point now he has to attack at some point. And the way to do that is for him to uncross the ankles. So I just may give him an arm bait him into, so go ahead, and then now I use one of my other guard passes and now I bait him into a submission. So one more time, or I use another submission, I put my hands on the mat in order for him to go for the bent arm lock, either I feed an arm in for him to go for the triangle, but for the video's sake I'm just using a straight arm lock as the purpose of unlocking his ankles. So from here, I will just grab his inside collar, he goes, go ahead, I know it's coming, so then I catch the hamstring, knee up, and I work one of my guard passes. So let me give you a review on the three basic ways of trying to uncross the ankles. So from here, palms to the hip bone, knee in the center, take a step back on a 45 degree angle, and pop. Push down, and work either under or over. The second way is 
now I want to use the stand up method. Stand up. I bring the knee in the center, hands on the hips. I take a step back, either I vibrate or pop. And I work a posture position. Third way is now I bait him with a submission and go to sleep. Whatever method Okay, I hope that helps you. I hope this video helps you in regards to uh, more detail on how to uncross the ankles because uncrossing the ankles is step one of guard passing. So if you don't get through step one, it's pretty tough to follow through the guard pass. I hope that helps you out and I look forward to seeing you in the medicine.